Today's video topic is bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis is a chronic lung condition that causes permanent damage and widening of the airways in the lungs. This can lead to persistent coughing, buildup of mucus and bacteria, and difficulty breathing. It is a serious condition, however, it can be managed with proper treatment and prevention. Causes of Bronchiectasis Bronchiectasis is caused by a variety of factors, including an underlying respiratory illness or infection like pneumonia, environmental or occupational exposures, or genetic predispositions. Common underlying conditions associated with bronchiectasis include cystic fibrosis, where there is abnormal production of mucus, which can lead to infections to the lungs. Other conditions that may cause bronchiectasis include primary ciliary dyskinesia and various forms of immunodeficiency. In some cases, bronchiectasis can be caused by long-term exposure to toxic substances like smoke, dust, and chemicals. Symptoms of bronchiectasis The symptoms of bronchiectasis depend on the severity of the condition and can be mild or severe. Common symptoms include persistent coughing up large amounts of mucus, known as sputum. Also, you may cough blood, feel fatigue, chest pain, shortness of breath, and fever. In more severe cases, the patient may experience wheezing, bloody sputum, and weight loss. Diagnosis of bronchiectasis In order to diagnose bronchiectasis, your doctor will begin by examining your symptoms and medical history. A physical exam will also be performed, which may include listening to your lungs with a stethoscope. If the physical exam and medical history suggest bronchiectasis, your doctor may order additional tests to confirm the diagnosis. One of the most common tests used to diagnose bronchiectasis is a computed tomography CT scan. This test can show any abnormalities in the size and shape of the bronchii. Imaging tests such as high-resolution computed tomography HRCT scan may also be ordered. These tests can help identify abnormalities in the structure of the bronchii and detect any signs of infection. In some cases, bronchoscopy may be used to diagnose bronchiectasis. This procedure involves inserting a thin tube with a camera into the airways. During a bronchoscopy, your doctor can look for signs of infection and can take samples of the mucus in your lungs to test for bacteria and other causes of infection. Treatment of bronchiectasis Treating for bronchiectasis depends on the severity of the condition and the underlying cause if known. Generally, treating aims to reduce symptoms, minimize complications, and improve the quality of life. Treatment may include antibiotics, inhaled bronchodilators, chest physiotherapy to clear mucus from the chest, and finally, supplemental oxygen therapy. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove damaged or scarred lung tissue. Prevention of bronchiectasis The best way to prevent bronchiectasis is to take steps to reduce your risk of infection. This includes getting vaccinated against common respiratory infections, avoid smoking, and avoid exposure to air pollutants. It is also important to seek medical attention if you experience any of the symptoms associated with bronchiectasis. In the end, bronchiectasis is a serious condition, but it can be managed with proper treatment and prevention. If you have any of the symptoms associated with bronchiectasis or think you may be at risk, it is important to speak to your doctor. With the right treatment and preventative measures, you can manage your condition and improve your overall health. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.